this video we are going to learn the use of log in regression model as we know there are two main purpose of log in regression model number one to nullify the effect of outliers in data and number two to find percentage change for this purpose we are using in this model the demand function here is a variable of price and quantity so as we have discussed in our lecture that there are four forms number one lin lin model in which it means y is equal to a plus b x here x increase by one unit then y increase by beta units whatever units x and y has number two for this quick estimate equation when we put quantity as a dependent variable space constant space price as an independent variable so this is our regression result and the regression result says that if price increase by one unit means x increase by one unit then y negative sign shows the negative relation so if price increase by one unit then quantity decrease by 2.299 units keeping other effects are, remains constant so this is the linear model we have not used log in any variable like independent or dependent variable in second model second is log log model here y is equal to a plus b x log of x log of x and here log of y so in that case interpretation is if x increase by one percent then y increase by beta percent so this is the beta into log of x so for this we have to take log on both side how to take log log bracket open then variable and bracket close same here log bracket open variable then bracket close then enter this is our regression model in this case if price increase by one percent then quantity decrease by 2.93 percent keeping other factors remains constant so this uh, values also represent the elasticity of demand in this model 2.93 is the elasticity because elasticity shows the percentage change in quantity due to percentage in change in price so it means we can also find the elasticity when we use log log model or double log model third form log len model in this model
this is the model for interpretation if x increase by one unit because there is no log with x then y increase by b multiplied by 100 percent what does it mean let's suppose in this model we have a log with quantity but not with price so in this case if price increase by one unit then quantity decrease by 20.5 percent 20.5297 percent because we have to multiply our beta with 100 so if we multiply 0 0.205 now 5297 multiplied by 100 we will get 20.5297 percent but the negative signs remains here it means if price increase by one unit then quantity decrease by 20.5297 percent and the last one is len log model for this case For interpretation, if x increase by 1% because x is with log, then y increase by beta divided by 100. units so in our model if we take log of price but quantity is without log so if we run the regression we got this result so if price increase by one percent because price has a log if price increase by one percent then quantity decrease by 0 0.3513473 units because in this case beta should be divided by 100 to become units so this is 35.13 and when we divide this number by 100 we will get 0.3513473 units i hope this video helps you to understand the usage of log and regression model if you like this video so like share and subscribe my channel tj academy